The Quicksilver Pro France, world number one, Felipe Toledo, looking to get a jump start on the wild card. Jorgen Kuzinet flying down the line on his backhand. Speed wrap off the top. Nice control as he'll stretch this one out with a big finish, but can't hang on. Toledo, very similar kind of wave, but carrying a little bit more speed. Nice little slashing maneuver, mid-face turn there for Toledo, and again, throwing the tail out, goes vertical on the back end. Jorgen's already looking to take over the lead on his answer. Quick hook under the left, winding up for one off the top. Jorgen also gets taken out on the finish. There's a lot of water moving around. There's a lot of lump and bump on the face of the wave, but you can see Jorgen's opening wave here. Trying to get those big backside hooks going. Snaps it up through the lip and then just comes down a little bit off balance. These waves coming in, are you kidding me? Look, already up and riding. Felipe Toledo slamming off the top right there. Looking for more on the inside. Bingo! And he comes down with it. So there you go, putting some numbers up. Good man, Strider. Strider aware of the challenge of the finish. This time Felipe gets it with a heat that means everything in the world title race. And now we'll see this second effort. First wave, 3-4-3. This one a bit better, Potts. Yeah, definitely. A little bit more effort on that first turn and then made sure connecting nicely. And you can see really stepping on the tail and getting that free fall drop. So Toledo, wave number two, completes the ride and makes uh, fixes up that mistake. You can see him sort of came in, did a little bit of a run around, get himself out and around the impact zone. Which moment for Toledo? Skipping the U.S. Open to serve some solid days before the event started in Tahiti. Moving quickly down the line is Felipe. Big rooftop float will just chuck him into the flats. You've got to do, you've got to play your game, and Toledo's one of those guys. Setting this one up is Jorgen, up and out. Trying to play a spoiler in the world title race. You can tell every time Joel gets a moment to just reflect, it, it is... <laughs> Filled with emotion. Oh, yeah. All those memories of two decades of fighting for world titles. You know, and as this year winds down, it's going to be, become even more so. Felipe Toledo, while we're at that interview with Joel, goes to town on yet another wave here. Needs some big score right there. Big snap. Gets some beautiful rotation out of it. And again, rapid fire from Toledo. Up and over the top. Three falls into oblivion. And doesn't quite ride out of it. But still, Joel... Joe, have a look at the score on that last one for Felipe Toledo. Some big surfing, some big maneuvers. Some radical stuff here from Felipe Toledo and just went for broke on there. Didn't quite ride out of that, but a great score. One of the best scores we've seen today. So Macy, Evie, uh, the oldest daughter. They also have a younger brother, Molly, that she's been hanging around, having a blast around the contest site. Kind of growing up around these events, really. Mm. And what a great education to have. Just cultured around the world, can loose and, and healthy in his strike. They got sent to the second round here as we see Jorgen trying to get back in this seat, starting to really build his momentum down the line, and he'll get stuck on the open face and go down. He'll get used to it though. Flying out the back already, world number one. First connection clean off the roof get a little bit hung up, so opted to step off there. Green hair, like, what else has he done? Can't Still remember. a grom, yeah. yeah. He'll grow out his facial hair, uh, dyed green, and he'll be on the podium. Big snap out the back for Toledo, good for one move. I want to see a mohawk, I want to see some dreadlocks. <laughs> uh, there's, there's still a few that he hasn't done yet. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he gave it to us. He's had a couple of years with multiple wins to his name. This being one of them. One turn there and just missed out on the end section. Good evening, you're watching the Quicksilver Pro France. Looks like we got our wild card up. Jorgen Kuzinet hanging on to that under the lip hook. Back out in front under the open face, trying to trim this one through the inside to break the combination against Felipe Toledo. He'll jam one final turn and get bucked off his board on the inside corner. And that is gonna couple up with that 7.67. Is it gonna be better than the 6.5? 6.5, we'll have to wait and see. This is definitely Jorgen's best wave, though. Great to see that wrap and just really timing the end section. Big snap right there, and the, the foam ball just knocked him off. 4.77, so he does get himself out of the combo. 
but looks like his best wave so far as we'll wait for that number. Felipe Toledo's already setting this one up down the line. First turn off the lip. A little carving wrap into the pocket. Already into his third maneuver, wraps it. Nice clean and approach oh. off the lip. Lofty float, this time gets the finish on his feet. Jorgen needing a, anything over a 4.17 gets him out of that combo, but looks like Felipe has got other ideas as he goes to town on this one. Some beautiful surfing, nice clean wraps. Now we start to come through the inside. We've seen some wipeouts through this section, but not on this occasion. Brazil, the most dominant force in surfing at the moment. Now making a move here as we run out the clock. Uh, Jorgen Kuzinet is going to be fun to watch for the remainder of the season on the hunt to officially qualify for the championship tour. For Great to see him with a wild card performance here, but it's been all about Toledo. Probably remember that heat with Maxime in 2015 when it was a very close to this decision. Well, this one's clear cut. 8-1-7. 767, one of the best performances of the day. World number one, safe into round three. Absolutely, Joe. That was incredible stuff from Felipe. He did not take that heat lightly, you can tell. He came out all guns blazing.